All right, we're going to start here with the larynx, come down the trachea, into the, the trachea is going to split into the primary bronchi. The right one's going to be shorter than the left one. And then that'll split again into the secondary bronchi. This model's not very good for the secondary bronchi. If you get farther out, you have tertiary, these little guys out here on the end. Okay. But remember, you always know it's a bronchi because it still has cartilaginous rings. Um, the other thing that's good on this model is it has the diaphragm. So that's helpful as well. And that's about it. On this model, I think the larynx is a little better and the hyoid bone is here. Again, the trachea is in here. But this one does a pretty good job of showing you how short that right primary bronchi is versus the left, which is longer. It splits, starts to go up into the different lobes of the lung. All right? And each one of those is a secondary bronchi. And then on this side, we have nice tertiary bronchi. Okay. All right. Diaphragm. Mm, that's about it for that one. thing to remember about these guys is this is the left lung. It has two lobes, superior and inferior lobe, that are separated by the oblique fissure. Remember, oblique means angle. And we've got the cardiac notch. So I know this is the left lung. Two lobes, cardiac notch. On this one, this is the right lung. I know that because it has three lobes, the superior, middle, and inferior lobe. The superior and the middle lobe are separated by the horizontal fissure, which is not really great on this model. It's actually better on one of our others. Okay. And the oblique fissure. These models, diaphragm, this one is the left lung, and I know that because, again, it has a cardiac notch, and this one is the right lung. Okay. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot that I like about those. This is a nice right lung. It's got shiny outer coat, which is the visceral pleura. It has a good horizontal fissure between the superior and the middle lobes, and then it has a nice oblique fissure between the middle and the inferior lobe. It does have primary bronchi and the trachea. Beyond that, I probably wouldn't ask anything else on this model. This one has a really nice hyoid bone because the whole entire thing is the larynx complex, essentially. The epiglottis is here, the larynx is here, and the trachea is here. On this model, Again, the larynx, again, the highway bone, again, the primary bronchi, secondary bronchi, and tertiary bronchi, right lung. That's about it. This guy's got quite a bit of stuff. Um, let me start on the front. We have the nares, we have the nostril and we have the nasal septum, right, so the skin that's in between the two holes in the nose, or the nostrils. Then we have the nasal cavity, which is this whole region here. We have the superior, the middle, and the inferior nasal concha. We have the frontal sinus behind the frontal bone, and we have the sphenoidal sinus near the sphenoid bone, you always know it's a sphenoid because it's around the pituitary. This section in the back of the nasal cavity is called the nasopharynx. This section behind the oral cavity is the oropharynx. And this section between the opening of the epiglottis and the end of the opening of the larynx is the laryngeopharynx. This blue line is the epiglottis. And that's going to flop over when you swallow food so that the food doesn't go into the lungs. And then this top fold right here, this is the vestibular fold or the false vocal cord. This bottom fold is the true vocal cord. Okay. That's really it for that. Oh, wait, I apologize. We forgot the hard palate and the soft palate, which make up the bottom of the nasal cavity. Mm, those are the same. 
really there's not a lot exciting going on here. I might be able to do the superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha. I could use this guy for some external structures like the nares or the septum. Beyond that, he's not terribly exciting. Uh, we did those, did those. Same thing for this one. Again, I could do the nares or the nostrils or the septum. And I might be able to do the nasal concha in here in the nasal cavity. I could do the hard palate perhaps. But that'd be about it. Did I miss any models? You did not miss any models. Thank you. You're required.